I mean, I never chose to be a full-time pro until I won the main event, you know, and then since I'd won my seat on Poker Stars and was wearing their logo throughout, you know, they're offering me more money to represent them than Pfizer is offering me to continue being a lawyer. So it was a very easy decision. I knew that I could have quit my job several years prior to that and that I would have been able to make a living as a professional poker player. But you know, I wasn't sure that I could make a better living than I was making as an attorney. And since I had a wife and a daughter and a mortgage and all that, it just would have been irresponsible of me to give up that certainty you know, on a good, dependable job. And it wasn't like it was a bad job either, you know, to, to make a run at poker. So I was making the dependable choice and remaining a lawyer until the option for playing poker was too good to say no to.